welcome back to Twenty Five CPs. Today we're doing a little something different. It is a draw with me video, and I am actually working on a challenge on Instagram hosted by Helen McKay Illustration. I'll link her down in the description box below, and it's super fun. And I have been working on it, I guess, since August began. And today I was illustrating the "Wish You Were Here" prompt, and I decided to do a piece inspired by Barbados, which I will explain later. Um, but right now I'm currently just setting up my canvas as you guys could see I kind of like sketch out all of my ideas color plan on one canvas then I copy the sketch into a different canvas and actually like work from there and I also pull up my um like color planning on the, as a reference picture so I can reference like what I already have planned out so you may have already seen some sneak peeks at other illustrations coming soon for the challenge as well but like I said, this one is inspired by Barbados and we're going to listen to some fun BG music and then I'll tell you a bit more about the illustration. It's sunny at most days. You'll never see the sky if you keep looking down. And if you take the wrong way, and maybe you should stay instead of turning around. The sun is setting down soon You'll never see the stars when you're all in your head You can find beauty in the night too But it's harder to see when you're stuck in a dream And that was Reasons You Should Care by Fiji Blue. I feel like I'm hosting a radio show or podcast or something with music. And actually, that would be a lot of fun. I love music and I love the fact that I could actually share that song in this video because I'm a big Fiji Blue fan and I feel like their music is just so beachy and I definitely like to listen to it while I'm illustrating. So I thought it was fun to feature that in this video. So I am really enjoying this piece and how it's coming together so far. As I already mentioned earlier in the video, this is inspired by Barbados, but specifically the television, or not really television, the Netflix original show called Outer Banks. Season two was amazing. I'm obsessed with it. The whole show is amazing in general, but that show kind of inspired this Barbados piece, which I know is like confusing. It's Barbados, but the show is called Outer Banks, which is in North Carolina and South Carolina. So like, what? But if you guys are fans of the show, you probably know what this is. And if not, I'm not going to go ahead and like spoil anything. But if you are an Outer Banks fan, can we like talk about this most recent season? Because I need season three like yesterday. <laughs> it is so good. And honestly, for like 
this whole summer my pieces have been very kind of inspired by the show in some shape way or form whether it was like a pattern I saw like on a shirt in the show or just like the setting and it's honestly so so good if you have not watched Outer Banks on Netflix I would highly suggest it definitely if you like a good mystery but not not like the like the boring kind of mystery I don't know if you are into like sunken treasure gold ships lost at sea and just anything in that regards I would highly suggest it because I'm very very picky when it comes to shows and movies I only like things basically that are ocean oriented have something to do with marine life or are sunken treasure I know those are very specific and very random but that is what I like and this show has that and it's definitely all filmed in a tropical environment and I feel like there's just so many different ways to go and again I'm not usually like a mystery person but when it comes to sunken treasure and things lost at sea it fascinates me a bit so if you like the movie Fool's Gold you'll definitely like the show I think and honestly the show is better than a movie because you get like way more than you do in a two-hour movie even though it's like 10 episodes a season and there are two seasons and the episodes feel so long because there's so much in them they each feel like a movie in themselves and it's just amazing so so amazing um the brushes that i am using in this video are various different ones from different brush sets that i've actually been reviewing so if you want to know more about any of the brushes let me know and i'll go through and figure out what ones i was using at the time and share in an upcoming brush review video and if you want to see the ones I've previously posted I will link those down below. Now back to Fiji Blue. I don't need to think about it. There's nothing in this world that we can't do. Flowers even mad about it. Cause they can't blow back you don't. I don't see a way around it. Cause everything has led me straight to you. It's nothing new. Baby I'm outside. Been thinking about you all night Been thinking it ain't right if you and me Only see us in our dreams I'm outside Been thinking about you all night Been thinking it ain't right if you and me Only see us in our dreams I'm outside Station, sunrise, no destination, no lie. I've been so patient, like winter, waiting for June. I'm done and waiting for you, waiting for you. Baby, I'm outside, been thinking about you all night. Been thinking it ain't right if you and me. Only see us in our dreams, I'm outside Be thinking that you're all night Be thinking it ain't right if you and me Only see us in our dreams, I'm outside There's something after there's nothing to say We're just moving in circles but we're losing our shape
also by Fiji Blue. All of these songs are thanks to Thematic. They didn't ask me to say that or anything. I just wanted to let you know that that is where I found the music. Plus, in general, I actually buy Fiji Blue songs. Um, so we are currently wrapping up this illustration. I'm adding some like few little things hidden in the sand. We've got a conch shell here. You really can't tell that it's a conch shell, but I know it's there and it adds a little something something to the bottom of the piece because this isn't like a majorly detail oriented piece, but I like to add, you know, little things that aren't majorly noticed because obviously the rock here is a big star. And I've also decided to go ahead and throw in a Portuguese man of war, which is also kind of a reference back to an episode of Outer Banks, but also like we have those on our coastline here. But if you know what a Portuguese man of war is, or if you don't, it is a very, very um, dangerous sort of jellyfish. It's not a jellyfish, it's related, and they will sting you. And they have very, very, very long, um, I guess, I don't know what you call the things that hang off of them. Maybe it's a tentacle, but I don't think it's a tentacle. But either way, you want to steer clear of a Portuguese man of war because their sting can be deadly. But they're really, really cool to look at at the same time. They're kind of translucent. They have pink and blue and purple in them, and they're really cool, which is why I added one here on the bottom. And again, very, very subtle. You don't really notice it unless you're like super looking at the piece, which I think is fun because when you see the piece first off, you definitely notice everything. But the more that you look, the more that you will notice. So you might notice this little Portuguese man of war, or you might notice that little conch shell. So all of the added little fun things. And that wraps up this whole illustration. I am really happy with how it came out. I really, really enjoyed it. And I will be sharing it soon on Instagram. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know if you want more videos like this in the future. And I'll definitely try to do that because this was a lot of fun. So again, thanks for watching. Talk to you all soon. Bye.